Yo, GPJ here. Are you seriously gonna yawn when I'm doing my intro? Yo, GPJ here. Hoyaverse might be teasing the next most broken stat in the game. Alright. I'm sitting here looking at my finished Gallagher's kit. It's not really optimal, but that's okay because I just need him enough to sustain and to survive. And if you look at his traces, you can see that. He's targeting mostly converting most of his break effect into outgoing heal. Therefore, he has a dual purpose of you can play him as almost a break character. And in addition, you'll get additional healing. Hoyiverse likes to tease us all the time. And not just with the way they use Aventurine's story quest and the Aventurine bedroom art to make you swipe your hard and money away. I'm talking, of course, they like to tease with the upcoming gameplay kits for future characters. Now, I believe, in my humble opinion, part of the reason why we're building so many characters and why we're building them so hard, especially the DPSs and the Harmony supports, is the fact that we need diverse investments across diverse stat lines while also investing in our scenarios appropriately. Maybe we have we are playing a Bronya comp that needs to be just below the DPS. Or maybe, of course, we have some speed boosting and then a 160 speed comp that hardcore players are going to try to do because, you know, zero cycling is fun. There are so many investments for so many scenarios that we're having a hard time keeping up. Especially if you're a new player that just so happens that, you know, you're new to the game and you're looking at these and you don't know what they do. And then you're just overwhelmed, especially if you're looking at this, and then you're looking at this, and, you're, and then you're looking at your empty relic slots and thinking, what should you do? Different mechanics doesn't necessarily help either. With so many ways that you can slice the cake or deal damage, for instance, albeit in different flavors. If you look at this gentleman right here, this is Blade, he consumes HP to deal more damage. This is Jing Yuan. You consume skill points to deal more damage by using his follow-up attack. This is Kafka. She deals more damage the more damage over time debuffs on the enemy. By re-triggering set dots, she deals lots of damage. But in needing to deal more damage, you need, across multiple characters, diverse investment. Kafka can't do it alone because she needs another character. And both of them can't do it can do a duo because they need a support and of course all, she can't really support if all two of them die so either you need a sustainer like a gallagher or a sustainer like fushuan or maybe if you're starting out and you're just very unlucky a bailu all of the units that you currently see on the screen right now all of them have one thing in common all of them can deal toughness damage which means all of them can break the enemy Therefore, therefore, with that statement, we can conclude that surely the next stat that the game developers are going to focus on is this, the break effect stat. With this tinfoil ramblings, you can build every single person that you see here, all of them with break effect. Will it be optimal? Not really. Some, like Gallagher or like Ron May, will be more effective than the other. Where else if you build Akron break effect, you're a mentally deranged individual and should be arrested. It is still a very niche thing. Why would I time my break and do all these mental calculations when I could just DPS them to death? You know, just invest in Akron or maybe invest in Jing Yuan or maybe invest in someone like a QQ. You know, just stack crit, great crit damage, make sure she has all the skill points, put sparkle on her, and you're good, you're good to go. You just DPS them. And you're right, there are many prerequisites to making sure that you're using break effect to its fullest potential with appropriate units that are designed to play that way. Hoyiverse, however, has teased this shifting view of dealing damage all the way back, all the way back when this guy released. If you didn't know, this is Luca. Luca is an ability character that specializes in dealing bleed dot with a unique way of re-triggering the dots by using his enhanced basic attack. Luca also is physical, an ability physical unit that specializes 
and dealing dot damage. Now, the only way for you to deal that set dot damage is to by retriggering the dots, either through the skill or by breaking them. Luca's Eidolons helps also to making sure that you're using him to break the enemy. Especially with this, you gain enhanced fighting will or his enhanced basic attack stacks. He gets increased attack percent for every stack of fighting will. He gains increased damage for every single time he attacks enemies with bleed. And his E6, basically making sure that you can trigger the bleed status exponentially. His element also is physical, like I said, and physical by far has the strongest break damage in the game. Compounding it also with Lucas' release is the release of this lady, Ron May, and our cute robot lady, Shui Yi. Shui Yi has a conversion where for every single 1% of break effect, you gain 1% damage bonus up to 240% damage bonus. Which means if you skip, if you stack 240% break effect, you gain 240% damage bonus. Ron May has an increased break effect for all allies. For every single point of break effect exceeding this limit, she gains additional damage increase. Part of the reason why also Luca and Luca and Shui Yi is such a niche yet effective unit is the fact that most of them they can re-trigger every dot or they can scale really well by investing in that one specific stat and still deal massive amounts of damage luca especially and ron may with luca this this chad right here can deal 120,000 break damage by re-triggering his dot and his break consistently and again his stat hasn't really changed he's still using this 162 percent break effect his speed could be a little bit higher but with ron may you can increase the speed into 10% to 145 plus, and uh, he can get, he can do three skills in one cycle. So there's that. You have peak efficiency in Luca, while also having the damage boost capability while stacking one stat. What if, let's say for example in the future, you have this kind of character, a hunt character that is also physical. That is also can deal high amounts of damage on top of having a break effect conversion, which in turn, when they break, they deal amazing amounts of damage. If they design someone like a Shui Yi type of character that has that has this type of conversion, but by stacking break effect instead of attack percent, what if they have we have a five star Shui Yi? But instead of being a destruction character, there will be someone like a erudition or a hunt character. The trend that we can see is that stat conversion is always a thing. As we know, defense percent in Aventurine gets converted into crit if you play his story quest. In a four star, you gain damage percent conversion from break effect up to a maximum of this number. In support, you have for every single point of break effect, they deal additional increase in damage. What if someone, let's say for example, has a stat where yeah, for every single time a weakness break they get advanced forward like a sushang but it's that for every single time they break or for every single break effect point they gain a stat bonus now that will be something stat conversion again is a thing but the one thing that we need to keep in mind is the set element currently like i said earlier the only physical element that we have in the game there are currently five Plus Argenti, since I don't have him. You can deal massive amounts of damage with Luca, and he is a four-star nihility character. Especially if you have someone like a Sushang that can advance forward herself, advancing forward herself with a trace, and while having Eidolons that benefits when attacking weakness broken enemy. Especially if one of those Eidolons increases her break effect. You guys are not fools. You know what I'm talking about. Boot Hill looks to be that kind of character. Now, I'm not specifically talking about the dreams, but the way that the game has been going, with the way that the game has been progressing, break effect stat looks to be kind of like almost the hyper bloom in Genshin Impact. In my opinion, you can almost get away with it by investing into relevant units by stacking all this. And as long as you trigger toughness break consistently, you can trivialize many of the content in the game. 
If you don't break, well, you need to compensate. But with the 5 star DPS's trend of having a crit rate conversion from some other stat or maybe a crit damage conversion from some other stat, we're looking to be going in this direction. But again, that is just my theory. That is just my rambling. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Let me know what your theories are for the future characters that might play in this type of thing. Thank y'all so much for watching. And as always, see you soon. Bye-bye.